Microsoft Project 2010 is basically a task organizing program. So any project you want to take on, like building a house or writing a book, typically requires many steps or what are referred to as tasks in the project program. A very basic and simple sample would be to say I'm writing a book. For example, my first task would be to research the book, then next is to write the book, and then finally print the book. Now these tasks here are linked up in a relationship, meaning, for example, I cannot start task 2 until its predecessor task 1 has been completed. This will make sense in the project here because if I haven't researched anything in task 1, then I have nothing to write about in task 2. Now the tasks are usually tracked on a timeline, which is each task is allotted so much time, like in hours, days, weeks, or months to be completed. And if one task takes longer than its set time, then as a result, it may push our project out here and extend it beyond its due date and of course be late. Now each task is going to require some resources and there are three types of resources. You have your workers, which is who's going to work on task 1 and task 2. For example, task 2, writing the book, can have writers. The next resource would be materials. So once they're working on writing the book, do they need a ream of paper to write the book on? Or are they going to use a word processing program like Word 2010? And then finally, you have the cost between the two. Are you going to pay your workers hourly or salary? And then, of course, the cost of the materials. Now, you have one additional resource, which is your budget, but we'll go over that in a later training video. We're going to break it down, as you see here, step by step in the Project 2010 Level 1 training videos.